So I thought I would do a quick video on how to make the movie food tray um, boxes mock-up. To purchase this mock-up you are welcome to find the link in the, in the description box down below. Once you have downloaded your mock-up all you need to do then is to open up your Photoshop and then open up your mock-up and you will come to a screen that will look something similar to this. So just to get started, all you need to do is um, make sure that you don't touch anything that's in this folder. This is just all to do with your lights and the shading of the boxes. So you can just ignore that. All right, but definitely keep it on. Um, now going over to yours might look a little bit, um, yours might look like that. All you need to do is to drop it down and it will bring up all these different layers. Okay, so before you get started in do designing your mock-up, we'll just head back over to our template okay that we're going to be using and you need to actually group all or sorry you need to flatten your image okay so we're just going to flatten that first and there it is there all right so let's head back to our mock-up and we're going to go with the bottom size first which is this part here okay now remember that that bottom part there is this part here okay so we need to double click onto this little icon here double click onto it and you're going to be brought to the screen all we're going to do is just hit control and the minus sign let's just zoom a little bit out and we'll go over to our template and we're just going to click and we're going to drag this template over to the bottom side which is there all right now your template's probably going to be fairly big so all you need to do is hit control and t for tango and we're just going to reduce the size of that so let's just find our image there it is there and i'm just going to drop that down all the way down until we come to the size we want okay which is about here all right so let's just scoot it back up you can zoom further out if you want to up to you okay now all we're going to do is i'm just going to bring you all the way up there all right and i'm just going to drag you out to around there and i'm just going to zoom out a little bit so the um the control uh, sorry the control and minus sign let's just zoom a little bit further out and I'm just going to drag you out there a little bit further out and the side too okay and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that slightly bit bigger and let's just bring you in nope, a little bit more bring you in okay a little bit more and just a tad bit more a little bit more okay and let's just see where this one is yep that one's fine and the other one's fine too okay so I'm just gonna hit enter to place it and then I'm gonna go file and hit save and if we have a, if we go back to our mock-up you'll see that that section now has got the um, information on it all right so let's just keep going so we're going to go with the left part which is this one here and that part will obviously be this part here okay so what we're going to do is so we can now you can leave that open if you wanted to but so this part here all we're going to do is sorry just scroll that down oh, sorry um, just close that one um, double click onto this part here which is the left side and there it is there I am just going to click and I'm just going to drag that same template over to here and let's go here there is our design there all right and I'm just going to hit control T okay and I'm just going to bring you there and let's just bring you further down okay there and let's just drag you out further out a little bit more to about there fantastic and I'm just going to hit enter to place it file save let's go back over here and there is that part okay now let's do our last bit which is this one here and let's double click onto the front side all right and I'm just going to go to the previous one I'm just going to click and I'm going to bring that one into here okay and there it is there so let's just see if that might actually even fit 
okay and hit enter and we go file save and let's go to our mock-up and there it is there is our design alrighty and that's pretty much it so I like to keep mine with a transparent background of course if you want to add a background all you need to do is hit layers bring that right to the very bottom and then you can add whatever background you want to it okay um, and then all I would then do is I would then use this and save it as a PNG and then design my listing page or whatever it is I'm, um, I'm doing or even for the viewing for the customer I like to do it as a PNG file and then add it to whatever listing or whatever image that I'm going to be using this for so to do that all I do is I go layers and I go merge visible if we flatten the image it's actually going to take your background and it's going to make it white so we don't want to do that so we'll just merge visible okay and it keeps your background the same um, um, uh, that keeps your background transparent all right and then I would go file save as I would then change this to a PNG file and then hit save and then hit OK, making sure that it is the largest file. Alrighty, and then that is pretty much it how you use um, my mock up. So, what I like to do is once I've finished um, saving that, I normally like to go to my history and go to the previous layer action that I did. So, it brings up all of my designs again. Okay, I then go here, and then I just normally like to go here, delete that layer, go file, save okay and then I close that one I then go here to this one I delete that layer go file save so it's kind of just bringing you back to the way it was okay and then this one here okay file and delete and go file sorry delete that layer file and save okay and there so now it's brought it back to the way that I that I previously started off with okay and then I'll just go file save as and then I would save my design back to back again as a PSD file. All right, and then hit save. So hit save. I've already got one, but that's okay. And there it is there. All right, and then you can just go ahead and close that file. All right.